Before I became a full-time trader about six months ago, I tried many, many strategies to try to become profitable. All the way from the one minute strategy, you know, to another that uses the three minute, five minute, the 15 minute, the hourly, all the way to a strategy that used the daily time frame. Now, when I was in the daily time frame, I was trading support and resistance. And how it simply worked was pretty straightforward and quite simple. And let me show you. Okay, so right here we have, let's just say we have resistance right here. We can see that, okay, cool. We have a cheeky resistance right here. We also have resistance let's just say around this zone right here and what this simply means is where price previously got to and price sort of struggled right so you can see price got here got here it was just it was failing to break around the zone right this is a better one actually than this this one that I drew right here so when price is here now we have a resistance zone and then we try to find support which is just another part where price got to and sort of struggled to break through so we can see like this sort of zone right here is you know kind of like support right so when we draw this through we can see that we have these two zones so the simple idea anyway of this strategy was to simply wait for price to tap either the support or the resistance and when it gets to either and we just sell and when it gets to the support we buy it was it was pretty simple and straightforward there was no issues with it you know like if price got back here boom we enter a sell if it holds then we make some money if it doesn't hold then you know we it breaks free and we lose a bit of money basically but the main idea was to always make more than you lose and you sort of go about it that way if price gets to the resistance and holds then you simply enter a short your stop loss will be above it so it was a pretty simple strategy in theory it should um, i mean everyone makes money from every strategy right but for me personally though my main issue there was that you have to trade many many pairs because obviously this is a daily time frame we're talking about right you're finding a setup once a month if you're trading just a single pair it ain't gonna happen so that became an issue i was looking at literally like 10 different pairs man second issue was that sometimes the setup does take too long to to play on do you know what i mean like we're talking about the daily here it, it takes a while to kind of kick in so i'll be in multiple trades on different pairs trying to manage every single one setting different alerts and it's just all over the place right i wanted like a structure of okay trade in the morning trade in the afternoon you know you're done you're carrying about your day rather than trading almost like around the clock every single minute so that was when i was doing the daily time frame the next was when i started using the hourly right the hourly is kind of like a time frame that's pretty popular and i started using the hourly when i started to trade supply and demand and how this works is that let's go to the hourly hourly is pretty nice to look at because you know you can see things clearly there's there's almost no noise when you look at the hourly time frame right and the main idea to trade in supply and demand is that you have aggressive sales and you have aggressive buyers you can see for example we have aggressive buys right this would be a demand zone so this was a point where price shot up aggressively and usually when price comes back there you're gonna have some sort of reaction again this was pretty much what happened in this case you can see again we have supply this was a point where price initially dumped aggressively so usually when price comes back here you hope it's going to do the same thing because in this case it didn't but the main idea is basically looking up for these zones you see many 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 of them this is this is kind of one uh actually yeah definitely is one so you can see that eventually price went all the way up came back into the zone and eventually price went all the way back up again so this was sort of the idea you know you're able to find setups like this crazy crazy high high rrs so sometimes you will take this setup on the hourly right but again you can see the issues that come with this you're going to be waiting a while you know you draw the zone let's say on the 24th of may you have to wait until the 30th of may before it went back in and sometimes it wouldn't and imagine it comes back after a week and then it loses it is kind of frustrating so again you're in a position where you have to trade many many pairs just for it to work to be honest otherwise you're going to be in a drought for a long time so it was a pretty good strategy overall i mean then you combine this with the 15 minute now so this is where i started using the 15 rather than waiting for the hourly you then wait and use the 15 instead to basically find similar setup sometimes when it comes in you enter on the 15 so you can quickly make some money that way but if you're not using the hourly to draw the zones you can also draw your zones on the 15 so it's kind of similar it's just that the 15 is obviously more often you don't have to trade that many pairs and then my main issue though with trading the 15 minute now was that i personally could only go for about you know you're going to wait a while for a setup to show up let's just say this setup for example and this didn't tap in but let's just use this as an example when you enter the setup for me i found that most of the time i'm only able to go for like one-to-ones you know 
in this case now i would maybe want to go for like the highest point right here you can see that it takes an eternity to get there if it even gets there anyway so most of the time i'm only scalping about a one to one and that still takes a long time like you see an example right here price is trending upwards in this case and you're going to find a demand zone right here this is a demand zone you can see that price came into the zone now which is you know this is not a bad setup at all if you set your stop loss outside you would have still lost the setup if you set a stop loss below the candle like this it still would have been a bit meaty so i'm not saying like obviously this works in some cases but my main issue with the 15 minute is that again things for me it was just still too long do you know what i mean like you you find your zone you draw it it doesn't get back in until hours later and then each candle is literally 15 minutes so you're playing around in the zone for hours and you don't know what's going to happen so overall that's when i started to realize i'm not really definitely not a swing trader day trader potentially but maybe not to the extent where i'm taking 15 minutes up because sometimes you'll be in a trade for hours i'm talking five six hours in a trade like it is nice to look at sometimes you're on your phone you're seeing everything in blues you know fair enough that is satisfying to do but my point here isn't to be satisfied it's to make money and just you know be done with my day sort of thing right i almost treat trading as like a job sort of thing i don't want to be trading all day every day i want to just make my money at a certain time and be done that's how i prefer it right so this didn't work for me long term so eventually this is when i started to cook and i started to look for more ways to how i can really get this working so i'm moving down to the five minute now now five minute is another popular time frame this is one that i use definitely a lot more to, to to see what i can work with five minute definitely cooked um no issues with a five minute like that for example let's just say this setup right here boom this is ge you find the demands on right here you enter on the five boom boom bow you know stop loss like this you in for a quick little one-to-one -one or something just because i found that to be very very consistent when i was learning so this was the idea of the five five minute is nice definitely not going to speak upon the five five minute is nice overall on the five minute i think for me it just became a matter of rr uh, uh, right that was my biggest issue was that cool one-to-ones was nice but there might be times, there just might be times when you lose one hour, you lose 2% in a day. The next day is just very horrible. You lose another 2%, you're down 4%. This, in theory, is good knowing that you will win most of your trade. But the issue is, let's say there's technical issues, something goes wrong. Sometimes you're in drawdown for a while. Like, let's say you're down minus four. You're thinking to yourself, you have to win four setups. I usually used to take one setup and I'm done. So for me, that meant that, cool. I took two trades this week, for example. For example, right? And I lost 2% or four percent so i lost two today lost two tomorrow now i know that i'm taking one trade per day it's gonna take me four consecutive wins right to get out of that drawdown plus more days to go so it was just like it's just knowing it was just more on the psychology it's kind of it's kind of heavy knowing that right, i'm down four percent i'm gonna have to come back to break even assuming i don't take a single loss then on top of it i now have to be in profit and just hope everything goes smoothly so sometimes you're trading for months it's just very very long so you sometimes maybe have to trade multiple pairs for sure um, because you're not always going to find yourself in a five minute so this was when i started to hunt for something was missing and my main issue was that risk reward was missing but win rate was decent right but i was missing like you can end the month in a five percent month which is very good very very good but trading wise when you have commissions that five percent now cuts down to i would say about four three percent plus let's just say issues and technical issues one day one day you enter too early one day spreads took you out now that's another one percent out of that so now you're down to about three percent and you just start scraping by at the end of the month you know let's say you did a whole month's trading because of pop firms now out of that entire month of you trading you're only up three percent now you gotta go multiple months to just pass phase one then you gotta do another couple months to pass phase two so overall it is very very good but sticking to one to one strictly it just drags and i ain't got that kind of time that's my that was my issue with the five minute but overall this this kind of prepared me for what was to come so boom this was when i moved on to the three minute and i was trading a single pair this was when there was definitely a transformation for me and this was a very very nice point i was trading the three minute i was trading g and instantly the key thing that happened here was sometimes some trades you can see how for example right here we saw a five minute setup but this is also a three minute setup so what ends up happening is that you have both setups in play like this it's a stronger confluence let's just put it that way plus the biggest thing was that you will sometimes get an earlier entry because i'm trading on the three minute now it meant that i was able to get higher rr because 
So five minute setup, I'm able to enter even earlier. So this means that for my TP, I have more room. Like I can decide to leave. If I'm leaving a one to one, it still happens kind of quick. But if I'm aiming for more, I'm getting more. I'm getting a one to 1.5 in this case, for example, than when I was on a five minute, which is, you know, which was more of a headache. But you can see in this case, very, very clean trade. So the three minute unlocked the idea that now I was able to get higher RRs in general. Focusing on RR now, I was able to pretty much get a high RR trade, but my win rate did reduce slightly. But overall though, it was just better because now this was when I was seeing, you know, 10% months, 15% months sometimes, sometimes 20% if you have a very, very clean streak. Secondly, I was only, I was able to trade one pair because most of the time I will find a setup on a three minute most days so this was even way nicer for the psychology for sure because i was trading one pair one one setup one thing was all i was focusing on so this was definitely the point where i felt more confident for sure knowing that all i have to do is focus on this one pair master it then i have to look at anything else back test it as much as possible and i know what my win rate is going to be and my r is going to be most months so this was the point where it's like most months you're not losing because you know roughly you're going to make 10 percent some months let's say there's technical issues things go wrong cool worst case scenario you're still going to make five percent you know what i mean so this one i was more comfortable because now rr was in the game rr was in play now the three minute is what i use for let's say forex pairs it works better for me on forex pairs so it's still one that i pull out once in a while but the one that i'm cooking with right now is definitely the one minute the one minute for me now is my main bread and butter pretty similar again still supply and demand that is one that i definitely stuck with but this definitely cooks for sure for sure for sure so now the one minute was basically everything i mentioned this whole time is just everything gets even better the one thing about the one minute though that you have to almost figure out and master is just that you have to turn all that noise to make it clear right now me looking at like the one minute everything looks clear to me but at the start you're thinking one minute is messy it just looks like all sorts are going on it's incredibly quick but the main thing i decided to do was to trade the one minute and trade gold and that's when things became crazy crazy in a good way because now this is when i was able to do some serious serious damage right this is when it's like i'm in a trade i'm out in 10 minutes like if we're just going back to let's say what's this 18th i think this was yesterday let me just show you like a trade that we took yesterday so, so yesterday we had many many setups that's the benefit of trading gold for example so we had this setup right here on the next trade we had another setup right here all in one day not even a day all in one session that happened incredibly incredibly quick so this is all in one session in the space of about uh one hour we had three setups and all three setups gave a one to three so that's a nine hour setup in an hour do you know what i mean so that's the benefit of the one minute so instantly the one minute basically big rrs because i'm able to take similar rrs regardless you think it's the one minute that sometimes it doesn't move that much but it does you're able to almost scalp in minutes you're able to literally make one to two arm within a single minute of a candle moving of course your stop loss do need does need to be tight but the part people forget is that tight stop loss usually means high lot size as long as you have a bro card that gives you one to 100 leverage you're good you can enter most trades happily it's not an issue so as long as you can enter these trades you're good that's basically the more of the story obviously the, the smaller your lot size get the higher the lots and then you might have issues with some brokers but generally one to 100 leverage is like almost the standard you know that's that's perfectly fine so on these trades now we're just cooking you know cooking 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 if you wanted to just take one setup and let it run you could have done that but you know you can play it safe so just from this little movement right here all of this literally happened within like 10 minutes that's already a one to two compared to when you're trading under five minutes or on the daily which is just going to be a whole a whole issue on its own but the best part about trading the one minute though is that sometimes when you now have confluences with the higher time frame then you're able to cook and get like a one to six trade one to eight trade like i mentioned in some of my previous videos one trade that i got about one to seven that was my biggest trade of all time so far anyway so these were definitely the good things of course don't get twisted it's still the one minute it's incredibly quick that's one of the difficult parts about it like the candle can shoot off very very fast you're going to miss your entry or you have a late entry so that does happen overall but it's worth the compromise and why i switched to gold for the one minute is not only because of the volume but the main thing is that there's also less commission so overall I'm keeping more money basically than I'm giving out. So that is pretty much the progression. One minute for me is almost like a perfect balance of everything. And the main priority is that it is very, very quick. I do like to be in and out of my trades very, very fast. I'm able to trade one pair, which is important to me now. I don't want to trade multiple pairs. It's kind of long. I can't be asked to do that anymore. And the main thing is higher RRs now. Like minimum I'm able to get, you know, one to one standard, yes, but now maybe to get sometimes one to three, sometimes one to fours, all within the space of literally like 15 to half an hour, I would say max for like a one to four. So hopefully you found some value in this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.